everyone, I'm Christina Johnson, Associate Curator of the FITM Museum. We've received a lot of requests for 1930s, so let's do it! I have many favorite designers in the 1930s, and the ensemble I'm going to show you now is by a gentleman who is one of my favorites, Lucien Leilon, and he was known for quite severe styles. This is a two-piece ensemble. We're looking at the jacket, and we'll get to the gown in just a moment. You can see it's made out of a black crepe with a very interesting material along the sleeves, which is cellophane. Here is a detail of the sleeve, and you can see that the cellophane strips have been applied in clusters. Cellophane is a cellulosic material, a lightweight film that can be coated. In this case, it's black. Let's look at the jacket closure. We have a hook at this corner, which attaches to an eye. Both are hand covered in thread, which is a sign of the haute couture. Opening it, another eye and a hook attached to an elasticized band. Okay, let's take a look at the matching evening gown and more cellophane. This evening ensemble dates to fall winter, 1933-1934, a season that was definitely all about sleekness, body consciousness. You can see this in the bias cut aspect of the skirt. But the bodice, because of all of that cellophane, is actually quite thick, quite wide in appearance. And this has always intrigued me, the aesthetics of this gown. However, I had an epiphany this weekend that I'll share with you in a minute. Here's the reverse of the bodice. The cellophane strips continue along the back and cellophane strips have also been used as an embroidery treatment. You can see they've been couched using a zigzag stitch. We're looking at the interior of the bodice and the shoulder strap and do you see this element right there? That is a little strip that snaps and that was for the brassiere or the slip to go through and hold the shoulder straps taut. Here's an archival Ziploc bag identified with the ensemble's object ID, and you see there are a few strips of loose cellophane. And we keep all elements that come loose from an ensemble. Hopefully, these can be conserved one day. I'd like to show you something that I think relates aesthetically to the Lucien Leilong cellophane uh, design. And it's in this, this tie-back bag with a photo. This is how we store all of our furs. This coat dates to the late 1930s, and it is made out of monkey fur, which was a very popular choice if you had the money. And you can see how similar the tufts of black hair are to the cellophane. You know me, I love finding images of our ensembles worn in periodicals. This is Harper's Bazaar, March 1934, and here it is, worn by Natalie Paley, Lucien Leilong's wife and muse. I'll read a bit of the text for you. The paradox of 1934. Traditional line, fantastic materials, rubber, cactus, synthetic straw, tinsel, cellophane. <laughs> 